minus 20 seconds. Let's just keep honest people honest. Marie Teresa. Daddy is RV. Elena Sandovici. Lauren Luna. Rodney D. Butler. Hugo Perez. Amy Cummins. Flux the artist. Lex Simone. Brandy Unz. Amy Malkin. Jean Barron. Teresa L. Staley. And Monique LaRue. Back in late 2019, I met Teresa at a group show downtown Houston at the Children's Assessment Center. And it was a really cool event to be a part of because it was sponsored by Chuck Norris. So it was kind of cool that the Texas Ranger was still out here doing good in the hood. A little while later, I learned that she was a co-owner of Art Machine Gallery, and now they're located in the silos at Sawyer Yards. So let's go pull up and check her out. Welcome to Art Machine Gallery, number 215 in the silos at Sawyer Yards. Come on in, we're open. Hi there, I'm Teresa L. Staley. I'm a fine artist, a muralist, and a gallerist in Houston, Texas. I've been doing my mural business for over 20 years and now have a business that I share with Jay Jax is the Art Machine Gallery. What do you like or love about the Houston art scene? Okay. Um, I love the support of the artists that we have a sense of camaraderie and artists helping other artists. We have a lot of different organizations to help artists and especially during these uncertain times, everybody's been really good about helping each other out, supporting each other to keep doing what we love to do. So the next question is, how do you feel about being an artist during COVID-19 and the current events of 2020? Okay, um, well, during this pandemic, art sales have been down, but but we are, you know, getting through it. We're being real supportive of each other. People that depend solely on their art are being heard along with many other businesses. Um, we all definitely are having to regroup and push the reset button and, and find different ways in order to get through this time. Mainly virtually, um, that's definitely changed, and you know we've all been so used to gatherings and galleries and art festivals, and you know that has definitely put us on a whole nother way to. We've had to regroup. All right. So the next question is, what do you think the world needs more of in this time? Okay. Well, no doubt this year <laughs> has been an absolute mess um, with everything going on. But I think we really need more unity and to come together and not focus on all of our differences and opposing each other all the time. As artists, we, we create an outlet for us to be challenged and can at times make us uncomfortable, but that pushes us to grow. By leaning into these feelings, we push ourselves to think more openly and to see the world from a different point of view. So that's, that's why I do what I do and why I love being an artist. And even through uncertain times, I think Houston is an incredible city and we have an artist community that is just absolutely amazing and we're gonna get through this. Now we're getting to 2020. And in early 2020, before all this calamity popped off, 
I was a part of a Facebook art group. I'm a member of many and still am. And I kept seeing this awesome guy's work over and over. And he's an abstract artist as well, which got a soft spot for... I reached out to him online and we developed a pretty good camaraderie together of our own. It was cool to learn he was also in the art machine gallery and also had representation in Chicago. So let's go talk to him. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, um, I'm Gene Barron. I'm a visual artist, Houston based. Um, for the most part, I'm an abstract um, contemporary artist. Um, I'm a resident at Art Machine Gallery here in Houston and the Atkinson's Gallery in Chicago, Illinois. Um, my Instagram is Art Garage by Jean Barron. And because my garage is my <laughs> I love it. What do you like about the Houston art scene? One especially cool thing about the Houston art scene is that artists here always support each other. If there's an event, like everybody will help, you know, network that event or a solo show and stuff like that. And that's where art stops being a thing that somebody does and becomes more like a force, like an entity. Not to sound cheesy, but I mean, it does. I mean, once it gets into a collective, you know, group and a movement, I think it becomes, you know, stronger for everybody and it brings more yes. attention to the arts what we're all doing yes, as a collective. in yeah. general, you know. Yeah. And that, of course, like, you know, benefits all artists, you know, like whether it's, you know, music or, you know, yeah, fashion, photography, yeah. fashion, you know, whatever. It's, it's always, creative, yeah. you know, things always move better at the force in Okay. Where did you get, like, your first art start in Houston? Like, the first place that maybe you showed a piece of work or the first show you did? Or so the first piece of artwork you sold, maybe it wasn't even at a show, but like, what do you feel like was your first start as a Houston artist? My first start as a Houston artist, um, I started showing um, at um, Art and Dance, um, just like, you know, theme shows. And, I didn't write your names too. Yeah, and stuff like that. Um, also, I started showing on um, social media, um, you know, certain sites. And what was cool about that is that there was other artists who were like well established, you know, because I go like sneak and, you know, check out their, you know, profile. But I'm like, okay, so I actually like became, you know, friends with them where they had my personal number. So um, if I had, you know, like questions about, you know, writing an artistic statement, pricing, um, how to, you know. So just networking and Yeah, like and all that. Community. And um, they kind of taught me like a lot about um, you know how to work with galleries um, even in process you know like if I had a question like I'm kind of stuck on this piece I feel like it doesn't work you know they kind of would you know help me out and um, you know I'm starting off at a place like Hard Hands kind of gave me the confidence to um, get more of my work out there you know and um, even with the Houston um, Art League like a couple of years ago, I entered an abstract show and I felt like, you know, first and second place in like honorable mention. I saw that, the uh, Galveston art show. Art show, yeah, it was like, right. like Baytown. Baytown, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, yeah, and that was amazing. How do you feel about being an artist during COVID-19 and the current events of 2020? I think being an artist during COVID-19 has been a really unique experience. I mean, of course, when all this first started, I felt overwhelmed angry and sad, just, you know, and um, they, there came a point where I just decided I wasn't going to get overwhelmed by male violence in it and just kind of, you know, seek a, you know, higher ground in it and I started to um, really concentrate on my work because what I saw was the, like, like people were taking language and weaponizing it and mm -hmm. like, using it solely for agenda, for like agendas, not like for like communication anymore. There was very few people with Just open trying arms to trying to manipulate. In a sense. Right. And like a lot of people are like, um, they might not have like any points or like um, 
anything intelligent to offer to the conversation, but they just like, um, like crap <laughs> on the on something and then just get loud and then walk away like spreading <laughs> like they won the conversation but I'm like nobody's just winning. Just by shouting. Yeah. yeah and I'm like but you know being hateful and shouting is not winning you know like mm -hmm. like coming together as people and bridging that you know um, gap in our communication and like trying to understand each other is what's important like if you win nobody wins you know like we both have to win to yeah, win. there's got to be a loser. Right. And, and then how does everybody win? And it, you know, and it's all cause and effect. Like, if you look at ten years ago, I mean, yeah. we're going through the same things because we're only doing the su surface level work. You know, we're not doing the deep work. We're not doing the things to resolve what's going on. It doesn't matter, you know, what end of the um, issues you're on, if you're not um, willing to do some of the deep work, it, we're just going to keep doing this over and over, you know, and that's kind of... That's why we're still doing it. Yes. Over and over. You know, yes, exactly. It's and a call to action. What do you think the world needs more of in this time? Um, I think that just all circles back with stuff I said. I think the world um, needs to listen. Um, you know, to each other. I also think that, um, you know, a lot of times our vision gets really narrowed down to like pointing fingers, you know, like, like it becomes, vision. yeah, it becomes like a race issue or like this issue. But I, I mean, there's, it's not, it's there's no, there's like so much to unfold here, you know, like we got like redlining districts and cities, we've got <laughs> like education, we've got, you know, and like, and, you know, and if we slowly start to, un, you know, unpack these things instead of just drawing lines in the sand, you know, that we can evolve and a lot quicker. What is your message to the world? That's why I was well, like, oh my yeah. My message like, to the world, well, that's, yeah. like, that's a really deep one, I guess. <laughs> is it? You can't have your cake and eat it too. No, I, don't <laughs> know. I have no idea what my message to the world. I guess it would be um, kind of like, let's not let everything we go through be for nothing. Let's like take a look about what we, and what we expect from ourselves, our leaders, and each How other. Make it better. Right. Gina Teresa introduced me to another part of the art world I was excited to find and be a part of now. However, the temperament of 2020 put a lot of our plans through the ringer and we were all forced to figure it out at the same time. I was forced to try to figure it out, and that's kind of how we ended up with this film. So this next artist, well, you're already a bit familiar with. She dabbles in many art forms. She's somewhat new to the local Houston art scene, and I can't wait for you guys to meet this next Houston artist. Thank <laughs> you.